For years, we've been told fat cells are the enemy, stubborn, ugly storage units glued to our bodies. We try to starve them, burn them, even wish them out of existence. I used to think my body fat was a personal failure. I trained harder, ate less, pushed to extremes, but it never worked long term. Then I learned something that changed my entire approach. Fat cells aren't just sitting there passively. They are active, intelligent energy managers. And if you know how they work, you can make them shrink and keep them small. Today, we're diving into the science of fat cells and uncovering the real secret to sustainable fat loss. Welcome to Muscle Mindset Lab, where we turn complex science into strategies you can actually use. If you want a stronger, leaner, smarter body, hit like, subscribe, and let's start decoding your body's fat-burning system. Fat cells, or adipocytes, are living, dynamic cells that make up your adipose tissue, your body fat. Most people think of them as passive storage tanks, but in reality, they store and release energy depending on your needs, insulate your body and protect organs, and three, produce hormones that influence hunger, metabolism, and inflammation. Think of them like mini warehouses. Energy comes in, gets stored as inventory, and is shipped out when the body needs fuel. You're born with a set number of fat cells, and for most people, that number doesn't change much in adulthood. When you gain weight, those cells mostly swell, hypertrophy. In extreme obesity, you can grow new cells, hyperplasia. When you lose fat, you're not deleting cells. You're emptying and shrinking them. The warehouse stays, but the shelves get bare. I once lost 15 pounds, but still looked soft in certain areas. Why? Because the number of warehouses hadn't changed, only the inventory inside. When you eat, especially carbohydrates, blood sugar rises. Your pancreas releases insulin. Insulin's job, one, move glucose into your cells for immediate use, Two, act as the master storage signal, telling fat cells, open the indoor and store these fatty acids and glucose as triglycerides. Three, simultaneously lock the outdoor, preventing stored fat from leaving. Here's the truth. If you consistently eat more calories than you burn, whether from carbs, fat, or protein, that extra energy will be stored as fat. Insulin facilitates this, but the real driver is the calorie surplus. Two key processes, lipogenesis, storing fat, the indoor is open, insulin is high. Lipolysis, releasing fat, the outdoor is open, energy is needed. Both happen all the time, but your body tilts the balance depending on your energy intake and expenditure. If you want fat loss, you need the outdoor open more often for longer. When your body senses an energy deficit, meaning you're burning more than you're eating, it sends a different set of hormonal signals. Glucagon, adrenaline, and growth hormone all tell fat cells, open the outdoor. They trigger enzymes that break down stored triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerol, which are released into your bloodstream to be burned for fuel. Here's a big myth buster. You don't burn fat cells. You burn the contents inside them. The cell stays, but it shrinks as inventory leaves. The role of muscle. Strength training is critical here. More muscle, higher basal metabolic rate, BMR, means you burn more energy at rest. A higher BMR creates more demand for fuel, encouraging fat cells to keep the outdoor open. Bonus, non-exercise movement, NEAT, can add hundreds of calories burned per day without feeling like exercise. When I started lifting weights consistently, my fat loss sped up, not because I was burning thousands of calories in the gym, but because my daily fuel demand skyrocketed. The secret to long-term fat loss isn't waging war against your fat cells. It's managing them like a smart CEO manages inventory. Here's your four-part fat cell master plan. One, create a sustainable calorie deficit. Aim for a moderate deficit of 300 to 500 calories per day. Extreme restriction leads to muscle loss and slows metabolism. Two, 
preserve and build muscle, lift weights two to four times a week, prioritize compound movements like squats, deadlifts, and presses to recruit large muscle groups. Three, maximize NEAT, track steps, aim for seven to 10K a day, or simply increase your baseline by 20%. Movement outside the gym keeps the outdoor quietly open all day. And four, hit your protein target. 1.6 to 2.2 grams protein per kilogram. Protein preserves muscle, keeps you full, and supports a higher metabolic rate. Cycle in refeed days or short diet breaks if you've been in a deficit for months. It can help restore hormones, energy, and training performance. Fat cells aren't your enemy. They're warehouses your body uses to survive. The key to shrinking them is eat less than you burn, build muscle to increase demand, and keep moving daily. Do this consistently, and those stubborn fat stores will have no choice but to empty out. If this video helped you decode the fat cell game, smash that like button and subscribe to join the Muscle Mindset crew. Grab my free guide, The 30-Day Journey, Burn, Tone, Thrive, in the description, your blueprint for using fat cell science to get leaner and stronger. Comment below, my outdoor is open so I know you're committed and I'll pin my favorite 20 responses.